guys, it's Sandy, and today I'm going to be talking about this amazing book called And the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini. So this book is basically divided into nine chapters, and each chapter has its own story. The characters are interconnected, um, somehow either, you know, their family or their friends, or um, they're related through other people. At the end of each chapter, there's, you know, some sort of um, lesson or moral to take away from each chapter, um, which I think is incredibly interesting and, you know, each one's different. There's a lesson about family, about selfishness, about love, and it allows the reader to learn more than just one thing from the entire book. The use of literary devices in this book is actually really, really rich and um, I'm just going to talk about a few. For example, anecdote. This whole book is filled with anecdotes. It's each person um, having their story told or telling their story from their perspective and each story, as I said before, um, there's a lesson. So for example, in chapter 5, it follows the story of Idris who is visiting Afghanistan, his home in Kabul, um, for the first time in 20 years. And while he's there, he visits a hospital with his friend and they see this young girl who's had a massive injury to her head. Um, and he takes a special interest in her and he visits her every day, they watch movies and they form this really amazing bond. And before Idris leaves to go back to his home in California, um, since he's a doctor, he promises that he'll do everything in his power to get this little girl that he's formed bond with the surgeries that she needs. But once he gets back home, he realizes that uh, the promise that he made was just too much for him and he can't actually fulfill the promises that he made to her. So he convinces himself that, you know, he's a good person, he's a doctor, he takes care of people. His belief that he's a good person causes him to be more selfish and it shows that even though you are a good person, you have to fulfill the promises that you make and not just bail on the people that you care about. There's a lot of illusion. So throughout the book, the author actually jumps between um, a lot of different time periods and um, he makes makes a lot of reference to the war in Afghanistan from 1979 till 1989, how it's affected the characters and their lives, and how the city of Kabul and the village of Shadbagh um, need rebuilding, and how it's really affected the people of that town, which is, you know, a little bit of a history lesson in a really amazing book. Also in this book there's metafiction. The very first chapter is metafiction. Um, it's a father telling a story to his young children. The story that he tells his kids is directly related to the events that happen in the story. The story also helps the reader to understand the horrible event and how the how there can be a little bit of light in a dark situation. I don't want to give away too many spoilers, so you actually have to read the book to understand what I'm saying. The author really covers an array of uh, topics and themes and lessons and uses so much literary and rhetorical devices throughout his book um, and it's amazing that he's even touched upon you know the feminist theory um, as we've talked about you know literary lenses in class. The culture in Afghanistan is very patriarchal which means that it's a male dominated culture. Women are supposed to follow the traditional female rules, they're supposed to be submissive and obedient to um, male figures in their life, whether it be their husband or their father, and the author uses um, his character Neela to rebel Afghan culture at the time. Neela, she dresses provocatively, she is defiant toward the male figures in her life, and she writes scandalous poetry, and this is all to rebel against this male dominant culture, and she rebelled for all Afghan women, which I think is extremely brave given the time that she was living in. So I strongly, strongly recommend that every grade 12 read this book. It's really interesting how the author has chosen to write it. It's not just one storyline, it's multiple storylines, but somehow they're all connected. So it's not the traditional formatting of a book. As I said before, each chapter um, teaches the reader an incredible lesson, and each person will probably learn a different lesson from each chapter. There's a lot of critical thinking that happens as you read the book, trying to understand the author's intricate details, and really understanding the meaning behind every word in every story. And that is why I believe that every grade 12 student should read And Mountains Echoed by Cali Cusini. He's an amazing author and this is an amazing book and I definitely hope that you vote for this book to be the new CKSS Reads. Bye!